When we set out, we, we said that we wanted to supply the local market. We also wanted to sell local produce. So for, for, for selling produce, what we said was we're going to take from the four counties that surround us. So it's Herefordshire, Shropshire, Worcestershire and Powys. What you see around us is a central shop with eight food workshops, something like half of what we um, sell within the shop we actually make in the workshop. So cheese, butchery, bakery, um, jams, we have a coffee roasting um, unit here as well. The advantage of something like this shop is we can take straight from the growers, uh, we can put it out for sale and the customer gets that really fresh produce and they get the variety that they wouldn't get elsewhere. One of the secret objectives of, of, of what we were doing is that we wanted to help, nurture, encourage and infuse. I'd seen you know, so many of these farm shops that, that start off and then they don't have the retailing skills, they don't have the production skills um, and they falter because of it. Uh, and what I hope that we could do is we could inspire people. Um, I hope that we could offer training. We actually employ, I think, 86 people uh, around sort of uh, 49 full-time equivalents. Um, so the wage bill here is, is, a, is a major part of the actual business costs. But the advantage is that we can control the quality of what goes on within the workshops. Um, also that we can um, put into those workshops the things that we want to sell within the shop, that's not to say in the future that those businesses, once they're established, that we, they couldn't branch off and become independent businesses. I was very lucky because I left school and um, I always wanted to be a butcher and always wanted to be in the butchery trade. And, uh, I, there was a job in the paper for apprentice butcher, so I applied and, and got the job, so I was very fortunate really. I got a, a really good training, yeah, and a lot of nice friendly people. It's a wonderful place to work, it's great, because everything we make is just as you would make it at home. It's Crutch Bakery, we make all our own bread first thing in the morning, no additives, just as you would make it at home, same with the cakes, so they're quite popular. <laughs> The food centre itself has, has cost in the region of two and a half million. But we were fortunate that we were able to go to Advantage West Midlands and to DEFRA um, for grant funding that helped support the things that we were doing. So um, we benefited from the processing and marketing grant, um, the rural enterprise scheme, uh, and as I say, Advantage West Midlands. It's all very easy to have things in your head, um, but you need to convey those and you need to communicate those in being forced to communicate those for the funding process actually helped us hugely in terms of the marketing process at a later stage uh, and I think it's a very valuable process to go through. We've taken the local post office and moved that into the complex uh, and we've seen a fourfold um, increase in turnover and, and volume going through the post office. And then the other part of the building is the cafe um, which is a lot more um, a higher profit margin uh, if you were and it's the profits from the cafe that go to support the post office so that we keep those community aspects. The other barns that we've got, one was an, uh, was an old workshop, um, that's just recently been converted into a bike bicycle workshop um, and, and that is making children's bicycles. We've also got one other barn which we think we can convert into four craft workshops because food and crafts uh, again, track similar customers and uh, it would be beneficial for both of us. I mean, it's worrying and it's hard work and frustrating and all of those things. But at the same time, when you know that you're doing something that is special, that the, I mean, the greatest joy for me is if I've had a bad day in front of uh, the computer or in the office or whatever, you come down onto the shop floor and you talk to the customers and it inspires you again because you you know that people appreciate what you do. That's the best bit. It's great, actually, yeah, I really like it. It looks really fresh and interesting, lots of variety and um, 
yeah, obviously it's good quality stuff. I'm en route between North Wales and Wiltshire, so we always stop. It's great to see all of these things brought together under one, one roof, and it's a great location. It's proving that, that a rural location doesn't have to be a, a bar to business. Um, that a rural location is actually a huge benefit um, and it creates somewhere that is special that people that want to get out and, and go and visit. If we pull people out to come and see us, that they're also going to go to other venues within our rural location. And I think that's really very important.